See if there's a way in here. Come on, give me something. Nothing. Ah, uh, here we go. And sleep. Oh, he's on the other side. Claim the stolen iron. Okay, so that's not stolen. Okay, so they really don't hear anything. Fine by me. This guy's hiding. Or is he working? What is he doing? He's hiding. Sleep. I see maybe a way up here. Careful, careful. Still a bunch more over here. <laughs> oh, that was tight. That'll do. Sashimono banners, one of 80. This is another collectible. So there's banners, small flags worn by common soldiers and samurai alike. These banners can display a clan's name, uh, mon, leader's name, or slogan. They allow soldiers to see their allies on the battlefield at a glance. Sashimono banners are part of the legacy of Tsushima's great clans, Shimura, Sakai, Adachi, Nagao, and Kikuchi. It is vital to preserve them. Cool, okay. Records. Key items. List of conspirators, yes. Singing crickets, Mongol artifacts. Sogun Sadao, Mai, Kajiwara, Omura. Wasn't there somebody in here?
Yep. I think that might be the the general. Yeah. I don't know if there's a way that I can observe him. I don't think so. Sneaky. So oh, this would be cool if we had a way in from up top. Maybe you can't observe all of them. Oh, I got the critical strike! <laughs> That's dirty. Oh my god, dude. Simmer down. Whoa. That's our first, uh, that's our first death by non, non-boar. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. Uh, okay. At least it didn't set us back too far. We still maintain some progression, which is nice. So we've got one of the iron, one of the banners. The general is reset. At least we don't have to do the whole thing again. Oof, where? Oh, I see, I see, I see. I wonder if I can... Read this needle. Nope. We'll take the same path up here. Hey, buddy. Let's do this. got here. Conversations with the Khan 2. Tonight, while we sampled a variety of fine sakis, Kotun Khan shared his insights into Tsushima's politics and history. We discussed at length the internal rivalries of the Nagaos, tensions between the Adachi and the Kikuchi, and the reasons for Shimira's victory over Yarakawa, as if he's lived among us for decades. Later, he can find he can fight at his personal stake here. After the conquest of Goryeo, Kotun has been entrusted by Kublai Khan, with subduing Japan. If he is successful, we'll make his name and allow him to vie for the title of Great Khan himself. I did not dare to ask him if he meant to overthrow his cousin Kublai, but I believe that was his insinuation. Oh, dirty. Okay. Doesn't surprise me. Can't trust a Khan, even if you are one. Okay, we need iron and banners. There's another one. Mm. 
Whoop. There we go. Now we just need the iron and whatever else we can find. Doesn't look like we have uh, a location for that. Oh, look at the carts here with the exploding barrels. That could have been handy. Some iron, but not stolen. Barely see him. Don't turn. Don't turn. Sleep. no other way uncle would be disappointed okay so this is where we entered must be deeper in Ah, here we go. Beautiful. It's... Did that not say stolen, uh... Iron? But it turns out to be steel. Anyway. Destroy the black powder cache. Is that the big uh, bomb thing that we saw? I don't know why I feel like opening these. No one's inside. Grab this? Nope. Yeah, it is this. Cool. We need to do something fancy. Guess so. Hello. I'd say this camp has been handled. Oh, that's so cool. Bonus objective completed. So that was the assassination from above, right? And we got a free technique point, so we should have two to spend. Good job, Nobu. You did all of that. Good job.
Okay. Love it. Okay, yeah, so we have two to spend. Let's uh, figure out what we want to do here. Um, parry incoming projectiles. Evasive strike against slow-moving enemies. Some exploration stuff if we wanted to. Go find hot springs. I feel like this is stuff you want to do if you want to, like, 100% a game, which is fine. Heavenly strike. Oh, yeah, okay, so... We learned this earlier, but nothing like came up telling us how to use it. But now we can see it in here. It's just the triangle circle, but it uses a resolve. Kills may terrify nearby enemies. Quick unblockable attack that inflicts extra damage against staggered enemies. So let's see here. So we have to stagger and then heavenly strike. Okay, cool. Very cool. Let's do... Let's see here. Two piercing strikes. Hold and then tap. Hold and then tap, tap, tap. So unlock more combos or ghost stuff. I like that there's a huge variety that we can choose from. Big shockwave. Slow time. Roll before landing to avoid damage from all but the highest falls. Protect more distant enemies. Or two enemies rush in. Let's do this. A bit that's an expensive one, but uh, I'd say worth. And now we can we'll try those heavenly strikes on staggers as well. Okay, we're so close. Let's see. Let's hit this. Ah, Fox Den. Or Fox Shrine. Thanks, buddy. Good work again. We've officially found more of these without following a fox. Just saying. And here's the den. Quickly, no uh, maybe what we should do, let's hit these before we, um, before we go to the blacksmith one. Because I feel like that's going to be a big, it's going to be a pretty big mission. The random little hut. Oh, of course. Of course there's a bird. Take me. It's interesting that these lead to these, um... Tomato. Oh, cool. Find the musician in Tsutsu. Thank you, bird. Please join me. It's interesting that they have um, the locations marked with the question marks, but then also the random birds you can follow. Sounds like you have an interesting tale to tell, but I'm surprised to find you in Azamo. We both go where we're needed, Lord Sakai. My story is for your ears as well. Happy to learn. Centuries ago, Tadayori Nagao was the greatest archer on our island, famed for his wisdom and perfect aim. The Kami Hachiman himself was so impressed, he gave the archer his armor, light and strong beyond compare. In those days, cruel pirates raided the coast. They threatened the town of Azamo Bay with annihilation. The people fled to safety, but Tadayori faced the pirates alone, wearing his mythic armor. 
The pirates stormed the town. Tadayori's arrows tore through them. Few survived, but not one blow pierced Tadayori's armor. Years later, Tadayori died peacefully at home, but his armor mysteriously vanished. Some say his descendants guard it still, awaiting the rise of a warrior to defend Tsushima once more. Okay, that's it. A little writing about Tadayori that survives refers to a violet crown, a place in the north of Azamo. Okay. Strewn with violet chrysanthemums, where Tadayori would often meditate. Driving the Mongols from our home is all I care about. This armor could help, if it's as good as you say. His armor is without equal, my lord. And I believe it is still out there. Find the violet crown. Don't gotta tell me twice. Uh, it's a little... Travel to Northern Azamo. Active Tales. Musician told me about a story about the legendary warrior Tadayori. Seems he single-handedly defended Asmo Bay using a suit of armor blessed by the Kami. This armor still exists at maybe at a place known as the Violet Crown, north of Asimo. All right, cool. This is a mythic tale. Musician in Hoshi Springs explores Tsushima to find out. Okay. Okay, cool. So we have like little hints for some of them too. Let's, uh, let's hold off on that for now. We're going to hit up this other spot. I just want to make sure that this keeps... Yeah, it stays here. Okay, awesome. Let's go, Nobu. Bamboo? Yeah, it is. Nailing it. Okay, triangle X, triangle X, X, L1, triangle. Woo! These are actually, they're pretty fun. I like this a lot. <laughs> Trying to get to our map here. Alright. So I think we'll head down now towards Yuna. What is this? Dan? Yeah, okay. I don't even know who's out here. Straw hat mercenaries were seen in the area. Let's go. Keep him coming. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I wonder if it's always going to show um, attack now. I'm pretty happy that we got that upgrade, actually, seeing that. That's really powerful. There's just so much to do. What's happening here? Oh, they lost a horse. I hate to say it, but... I might have to check out the house. Black powder.
What's this area? Have you seen the birds, Lord Sakai? What birds are you? <laughs> Have I? The golden ones. Songs that remind you of more peaceful times. Ah. Oh, they were my mother's favorite. She used to say they knew our island better than any other creature. I believe it, my lord. If it weren't so dangerous, I'd follow one. See where the golden bird leads me. Maybe I'll do just that. But you should wait until our home is safe once more. I will, Lord Sakai. Thank you. Cool. It's also, like, I appreciate that they tell you stuff that you might not have figured out by this point. There's probably multiple people that would end up telling you stuff like that. Just by chance, maybe, I don't know, you miss stuff or whatever. I really hope these people respect Samurai because <laughs> we just come in here and just take whatever we want. I mean, they clearly need it, but... So do we. We're trying to save Tsushima. I smell a standoff. Face me! The Mongol Empire is invading our home. They are brutal. Relentless. Unstoppable. 